these roses. Oh, these are gorgeous and colorful and each blossom goes through three stages. So it gives you yellow, then transitions into a lush pink, and then it gives you a tropical sunset color in its lifespan. Unbelievable. Here's the thing too, these are huge. They're four to six inch roses and they're fragrant. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. And they're romantic. Um, again, more customer photos on QVC.com. I was marveling at the beautiful color and the beautiful show that people were showing us in the photos in the reviews. Um, but let's take, oh, can we see them? Yeah, I wanna see, I wanna see. Katie, let's show Katie. Um, because look, oh my gosh, Katie, look, this is from a customer's yard. They shared I this photo. It. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Thanks for sharing that. Oh my gosh, yes. I was begging this morning. I was like, have you guys seen the photos? Look at this. There's another photo, Katie. These are actual and, customers' homes. And it looks like they have like three roses in that pot because of the changing colors. But I love that picture because it shows that how this plant looks like a tropical sunset. I, I mean, it. it really does. All of the multiple pieces of blooms will be blooming at the same time. So your plant will look like you have three roses. Oh my gosh, even the puppy loves them oh, in the photo. I love that's, that. That's well, another <laughs> customer photo. You guys have to check out the reviews because you can share photos in your reviews. And so these are what folks are growing at home. And Katie, I'm, I gave it a quick overview, but can you tell everybody what sets this rose apart from all the others? Well, you know, to me, it's got to be that it is the most colorful rose <sighs> in the market. Like we were just saying, it is going to be one of those. In my house with my little girls, <sighs> call them magic flowers where you know one day you come out and they're yellow the next week you come out and they're that peachy color the yellow adjusted edges and then by the end of the the roses life it is going to be more of that deeper coral so each flower goes through these three color changing hues with no effort by you, you know, we talked about our hydrangea and mixing the acidic soil nothing here this plant will just do it on its own in these gorgeous gorgeous colors and they'll be loaded with flowers, loaded with flowers. I love, okay, wait, this is what shows up and a rose by any other name. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the fact that we go from here, it's like the Ichabod crane of <laughs> the root system <laughs> that's showing up to the roses. So when we get it home, what do we do? Yeah, I know. Bare roots are like, I have, I have a love affair with bare root plants because it really is so much easier on you plant those that set of, of roots right there that you see with mary it, you don't have to big, dig a ginormous hole so it's easier for you to plant these plus it's easier on the plant shipping this to okay. you is going to be a lot more successful end result for the plant and then the other reason i love bare root and probably the biggest reason is you'll get roses within 60 to 90 days it is the what? fastest way to get roses because we are trying to we're digging up the entire root it's not growing in its own soil. Once you put it in your ground or your container, it is going to perform. So bare roots are great, super easy. Wow. Don't be afraid of them. Maybe put on some gloves because roses do have thorns. But sure. Other than that, super easy for you to plant. I mean, the fact that you get all three, all of that color changing in one bloom. I mean, each bloom goes through stages of yellow and pink and tropical sunset. But let's discuss where to plant them, sun, water, the whole nine. Sure, so roses are one of those plants that the more sun you give them, the more flowers you'll get. So that's what we want with these. It's a spot that gets at least six hours of sun a day. And I love this wide shot because I just want to mention we had that sensational lavender earlier. Yes. Lavender also loves full sun. Lavender is a great complement plant to roses because it's a natural pest resistant um, plant. So if you grab lavender, you got to get the roses. If you're getting these roses, grab that lavender. But, you know, speaking of pests and diseases, these really are going to be one of the most disease resistant roses you get. I think a lot of people are a little bit afraid of roses. They think that they're fancy and that maybe if you're a beginner, you can't grow them. But these are great roses for beginners because they are easier, because they're more disease resistant, because they're beautiful. So if you've never tried going roses, I really suggest that Rio Samba is a great place for you to start as a beginner. Oh my gosh, and then clipping them and bringing them inside. I mean, please brace yourself if we are ever neighbors and I'm growing these roses because I'm coming over every day and I'm gonna show you everything that grew because I just <laughs> never keep it to myself. I get so proud. Hey, should we fertilize our roses? Do they need food? Yes, yeah, so we have a rose and uh, a rose fertilizer. 
specifically okay. in our bud and flower booster. I see it up on the screen there. So what when you fertilize your roses is when you start to see green growth. So you'll okay. get your bare root home and not until you see some green growth should you fertilize. And I suggest that you fertilize twice in the season. Fertilize when you start to see that green okay. growth and then again about a month later. Oh my gosh. And remember, this is what you're going to get. You put the, how, how deep of a hole do I need to dig? Because I look at, this is where as a, as a, oof, uh, I don't even want to say experience. There's no experience here. But as somebody who gets this home, I have a tendency to overdo everything. Like my personal motto is anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So I want to <laughs> dig a gigantic hole to put this in because I see that it's going to grow and I want to give it lots of room. How deep of a hole do I have to dig? So the, the rule of thumb is that you want to dig a hole about twice as wide as the roots are growing. Okay. So you want to give them that room to spread out. Um, and then you don't want to cover up, you know, you just cover up the roots on the stem. So you don't want to be doing a big mound of dirt. So just cover up where the roots are growing, okay. pack it in, give it a good watering. And if you're getting some rain, that's probably all you'll need to do until you start to see those green shoots. Remember, you'll have flowers within 60 to 90 days. So those green shoots will be happening really, really fast. And um, you will get flowers this year. These roses are perennial, so they get better year after year. That's amazing. Um, you know what? Don't miss out on the Rio Samba Rose. It is available now, M72136. Um, and uh, as we move on in the show, don't forget, Every flower, everything that you're ordering the show comes with a growing guide.